my invitation here is to begin to get so familiar with these open voice triads that you could like sort of improvise a new way to go through chord progressions using inversions. Today, what we're going to do is just create together a way to go through an A section that we like best. I'm going to give you a couple options, then we'll just take votes on which ones you like best, and then we'll just have everybody learn those chords. We're going to pick a specific kind of voicing, and this voicing is um, the root, fifth, and third. You might have played it before. Um, so this is um, a basic triad. This is like the root, the fifth, and the third. We're, we're all going to start here. And the first option we have, uh, well, any the option that we have to go from one chord to another is always, are we going up or are we going down? So going up would sound like this. And going down would sound like this. So who wants to go up and who wants to, who wants to go up? Raise your hand. Nick. And who wants to go down? Julia and Fred. Okay, we're going down. Okay, so down. So here's like that first chord that we have, that B flat. Um, this is the seventh fret. And um, I'm going to see if I think I can do that. Right, exactly. Cool. And I'm going to just move these dots around to show you how voice leading works. So all we do is move these things down. And this is an F first inversion triad. So, so far we have round, circle, and spiral, like a wheel in a wheel. Okay, so then the next choice we have is we could go back up, da -da 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 -da. or we could keep going down to a different inversion. Da -da 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 -da. So, who wants up? Everyone wants down. Yay! Okay, so down is, um, so this is a particular. And actually, I'm going to give you another option with up and down. So, so we have that, or so option. Uh, give me a one for option one and a two for option two. Maybe that'll be an easy way. Two, two. Okay, great. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> okay, so um, so let's do that chord. So this is, uh, sorry, this is an inversion of B flat minor that is actually very similar to a, it's actually a D flat triad. Um, so this shows you how related major and minor chords are. <laughs> okay, so, so far. because um, it has the third in it. So, so that's option two or option one. Who's, who wants one? Two? We, we all want two? Yay. Great. Um, and this one is one that you all know. And by the way, I'm giving you two options, but there are multiple. So as you experiment with this, you'll notice that there are more than two options a lot of the times. Um, we're just going to do this to keep it simple, to keep it all in the same position. So I think you kind of get catch my drift there. Okay, so now going to that E flat minor. Um, from here, there's really only one logical option. So that's the one we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to make a new page. This is on a B flat. So the, the first this note that's off the grid is the fourth fret. So now we're gonna do a new chord. So we have, we again, have an obvious option up and an obvious option down. So I'll play the whole thing and then I'll show you both options. Who wants to go up? Yeah. 
Okay, great. So up is going to be um, the same chord as the second chord, except in a different key. And let's see what we have now. Oh yeah, so then there's this. There's only one. I'm gonna just give you the next one because it it the another option wouldn't be as good. Um, we'll call this um, the technical seventh fret. So this is this is the sixth fret. So the basically the E string note on this new chord is a D flat. We have a fifth and then the third. This is this is very much another stretchy chord. I'm gonna show you another way to play this. So that's the ninth fret. As you're noticing, there are certain places where it's like okay, we can go up or we can go down, but then there are certain places that's like mm, there's kind of one clear option here. So that's what's going on right now as we set ourselves up for this little um, nice chord progression. There we go. This is a G flat triad. Um, so this we're on the third page now for clarification. And we're on the G flat major seven chord. And from here we are going to have another choice to go up or down. So let's take it from the chord. We did this. Sure. Julia, you're the tiebreaker. Down or up? You want to go down? Okay. Let's go down. So this is the next chord. Same position. Um, okay, so now we have the F7 and we have a couple of options for this one. So in this, now for the F7, we um, don't have as much of an option to go up or down, but we have an option to play uh, different notes. So we could play like this, or we could change two, so this is changing one note, and changing two notes would sound like this. So who wants to change just one note? changing two notes. Anyone wants the two notes? Julia wants the two notes. And Nick, you're the tiebreaker now. You want two. Okay, great. Let's do that. So this is going to be a regular F triad and um, we're going to change positions again. So from the top. choices but they're they're both wonderful so we have who wants to go down I'm going down for the curveball you want to go down for the curveball okay so then up would sound like this who wants to go up or Julia wants up Fred wants up okay we're going up so we have one more chord I think I'm gonna just yeah, I'm just going to make this choice because it's going to be nice. So um, what we're going to do for the last chord, I wonder if I can just do it. It'll kind of work. Yes, we'll just fit it in here. Um, so everything is just going to move down a fret. Wait, is that right? Yes, everything's going to move down a fret for the next chord, which is the F7. And then we're going to, for now, just start on the... Um, so this is it's basically loops back to the top. So we can just loop this little progression that we've created. Would it be helpful for me to play through the whole thing? Maybe just on, like we'll play through it twice through or something and then uh, do our best to follow along. Would that be, yeah? Okay. So from 
on the top. Here we go. One, I did uh, one thing differently on the spot, just out of forgetfulness, um, which was at the end, I'm going to play through it again. And at the end, this F7, you guys chose the changing two notes rather than changing one note. So I'll do it again that way. So from the top, two, three, four. To F7, or this is an F triad, to a B flat. flat seven first inversion d flat major seven g flat triad um c half diminished then f triad that was the change to the diminished chord and then down to f seven 